So everybody loves charcuterie boards, right? But what if you want to take one to a party? It's, I just, I envision it just rolling all over the trunk. <laughs> so I wanted to make a charcuterie board for a gathering the other day and it was not at my house. So I'm like, what can I do instead? Introducing the grazing box. pumpkin dip and I thought I was out of pumpkin and I sent Jeremy to go to the store <laughs> because I wanted to make this tonight. You have company coming over and then I opened the fridge and I realized I have butternut squash left over from the other night and I'm just going to throw this in here and I'm going to add all the pumpkin pie spice and it's going to taste just like pumpkin. This would be easier if I had brought the cream cheese up to room temperature but I'm in a hurry. So I add cinnamon for color but what I really like is cinnamon oil flavor. This is like a bright orange and I want a little more muted for, for the dip. But I like to add cinnamon oil um, because it's, it's, a, it's a lighter, um, more exciting pop of flavor than just the bark. So a couple drops of that and then a couple drops of clove is gonna give it that combination of pumpkin pie flavor. Last time I made this, people were like, what is in this? Because it wasn't just pumpkin pie or pumpkin, or pumpkin or pumpkin pie spice or cinnamon is that pop of, of essential oils. Pumpkin pie dip. And once again, leftovers save the day. <laughs> Looks amazing, doesn't it? So yummy. We'll dip apples in this, or graham crackers, or nuts. Nuts. Oh, this. Yes, nuts. Okay, which one do you want to use? recipe is for healthy ranch dressing mix and it is in your real food journey. sweet stuff over here and our savory stuff over here, okay? So you can unwrap a package of these. And I'm gonna put these here. And we just chose all things that could be orange or red so that we have a theme. Or brown. Orange or red or brown. There's our gluten-free crackers. Oh man, there's more broken ones than that one. Let's just lift the whole ones to the top. Someone will want the brightness. There we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna curve 
carrots around this way. And if you have baby carrots, you can use those too. Throw the carrots around here. Ooh, I like it already. I like all the texture going in there. Okay, these. You gotta peel the package all the way so we can hold the whole stack. Okay, so you're gonna take a whole stack and I want you to lay them here, okay? Do a whole row there. And you're gonna dance the red peppers around this side of the bowl. And you can make those, yep, go all the way to like here. All right. Beautiful. Okay, now we gotta get our apples. Cut the apples like this, and then I'm just gonna take them and just go, whoop. Tuck that in here. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. You have to do a, do a row all the way to the apples, okay? I need my cheese knife, honey. All right, thank you. Beautiful. All right, now my cheese. You do another chunk here from there. I'm gonna cut this open for you. Actually, you know what? There's a little thread line here. Like this. Maybe you can get a hold of that. Just a whole little bit off. All right? And then get one here like that again. So do the chunk right there. Can you take the broken ones out there? Take the broken ones out. We'll save those on the side. Alright, there, that looks cool. We'll stick this one here. Got that out there? Two more. Oh, there we go. Stick that one right there. That looks cool. Put these. ready for the muffins, which we get to pile all around this, okay? So these are the muffins. These are chocolate, banana, gluten-free, high-protein muffins. So kind of pile. Let's play with the graham crackers later. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pile. Here and we have some cherry tomatoes over here. Okay. 
tray. And then you can stick one randomly there, like a cheese and a couple here. It just looks really fun. They're like confetti. You just kind of throw them around. All right. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, keep them upright. Keep them close and up. All right. One more apple, which I'm going to put. Here. Okay, so you can need something there. Oh, we'll put a few more ones. Here's an orange. We got a pop, pop of color over here. Pop of color over here. Pop of color over here. Do you think we need a pop of color here? Okay, I'll put a cherry tomato. Right, so this is like a savory and a sweet. So, a couple of cherry tomatoes there. And we're done. Look at that. What I love about charcuterie boards or grazing boards or whatever you want to call them is it, it, people have to stand around to eat it. It's like eating from a communal dish and there's so much conversation and fellowship that happens um, around a buffet, as it were, a snack buffet. So we really like making these for gatherings and I like making it in a box because then it's portable. All right, good job, bud. This is beautiful. Love it. Tell us, have you ever made a snack board or a grazing box? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and for more awesomeness, visit trinaholden.com where you can find recipes for the things we make in our videos. See you there. Thanks for watching. Oh, that's a dud. Here, you could have that. Next dud, I'm having. Next dud, I'm having the next dud. <laughs>